La la yeah. la la wait till I give my money right Gosh, you know when it's time to take a deload when you're so sore, I have no energy, I've got arms. Next week, big deload. Anyway, it's August 7th, 2014. So it's uh, Wednesday, no, it's Thursday. So it's a new episode, so yeah. I'm gonna show you a bit of my arm work, how you've already seen it. So back in the gym. I don't normally show this guys, but this is what I do before I do any exercise. I make sure to stretch, and since I'm doing arms and back today, I might as well stretch the rotator cuff. So, right now, I'm in agony. It's not all about stretching and going, oh yeah, you feel fine, you're activating small muscles to help your large muscles super dominantly take on all the weight. Fire. So when they fire, they do hurt a bit, but it's not a bad thing. It just shows it's working. So guys, back in the gym, first exercise we're going to do is bicep curls. I normally stand up but I watched a few people online on YouTube and they've been doing these inclined bicep curls so I thought to myself I'll give it a go so I start with lying down on the bench at an angle about 40 degrees maybe a bit more and I really found these difficult when you're standing up you can utilize your back in a way you can kind of cheat in a way when you're standing up you can rely on the pressure from the floor to boost the upward motion of it. But when you're lying flat at an angle, it's totally different. This is purely bicep and arm dominant. So, as you can see, quite difficult for me to do, but still wrecked it out. However, I could not disappoint and because it was really hard, I chose to stand up and just continue repping out the sets, just doing standing bicep curls. So with this, again, the best way to boost your bicep is to do standard three weight dumbbell curls like this. You can fully contract the arm to top and to squeeze and it's perfect for building up a strong arm foundation and it should be in everyone's workout guys. I would say be careful on how heavy you go on the dumbbell. If you're utilizing your back, you're not doing arm exercise. So check your ego at the door and get a lighter weight. So moving on, we're doing tricep pull downs. I've got if you've got this nifty apparatus, as I like to call it, in the gym, use it. I mean ropes are good and ropes are handy, but sometimes they just hurt. This has got a good grip to it, and you can utilize it fully to pull the tricep extension down and I'd say it's amazing always adding tricep pull downs to any arm exercise so going back into it going to increase the weight I'm not a little bitch and the best thing you can say about doing the tricep exercise is to when you bring it down to pause and then slowly bring it back up again uh, you might not be able to tell that I pause but in my head I'm counting, so I count a 1, 2, and I bring it back up, so 1, 2, or 1, 2, or so have that in your head, I, I see people just pushing the weight, but not really using the weight in the exercises, they just go too fast, and it's not efficient, you, you're not utilising the little poster, not utilising the weight. Look at that guys, that's about 300 grams of rum steak. And about 13 asparagus spears tuck in. It's Thursday, you know what that means, cheat day Thursday. However, we fucked up on Monday. Confession time, I had three Krispy Kreme donuts. That's like three. 900 something calories. 
if you follow me on my fitness pal, if you don't, in the description, I'm sure it's down there. It's Chino HD Training. Um, you can also find a Chino HD T. It's easy to search for. But yeah, I've added it in. And I was shocked. Which means that I had cheat day Monday. And today is not cheat day Thursday. It wasn't worth it, guys. I look up, like, I look forward to having my bag of popcorn on a Thursday. And I'm just disappointed in myself, that's all I can say, because I really want popcorn. But I didn't get it today. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. And just get on with it. Okay, guys, so, finished the meal. Clean the plate. And... I'm not satisfied with one bit. Do you know, like, it's like you need something, you need to fill it. And even though my macro is on point, I meant to hit 2,600, I'm about 2,700, 800, just giving them the food I've had today, which is on my fitness pal, if you to go track, link below, like I said before. But like, I need cheat day Thursday. I need it, I don't know. I might just run to Tesco and get a bag. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. Okay. Anyway, see what happens. Excuse me, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing.